Hey Pisces, what's poppin' my lovely Pisces? How are you doing this lovely morning? What is going on with you? What's poppin'? Pisces, thank God that we have made it to see this lovely day. Grand rising. All right, Pisces. Thank you for all my family that are here with me. You know, I don't see you as a subscriber, as a number. I see you as a family member to me. And I want to say thank you for following me. Thank you for being here with me and showing me love. Now, Pisces, for all those who go onto my webpage and, and purchase <coughs> readings, you get it today or you get it the next day, okay? Um, for all those who go onto my website and purchase um, any one of my candles, and I'm burning the candle now, so I always burn the justice candle and it went out, must have went out last night. But for all those who go onto my webpage and purchase my Black Magic Spellbreaker candle, Know that this Black Magic Spellbreaker candle, it is for anything, if people doing Black Magic on you, Black Magic is this. People don't even have to do nothing to you. All they got to do is think raw and nasty about you. Put your name out there, rip your name up, just talk about you to other people, wish bad on you, you know, yeah. Um... The Abundant Prosperity, Healing, Growth, Fertility, and Nurture Candle is for your health, first of all, and everything else that you want to grow for you. The Love Yourself can't nobody love you like you. And when you start loving yourself and giving yourself respect and self-love, you get everything you want. What I burn on my altar all the time is the Justice Candle. And all these candles that you see are the candles that I use for myself. Okay, um, I have the Palo Santo and 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 the uh, Sage, which I um I dry up at home. This is the one that I been using with y'all. This is the one that I've been drying. This is my personal use. Okay, this is what you get when you buy it from me a sage that you can you know burn up and stay. But I burn it this way. Because I'm dealing with you and I'm at home. Um, with the red brick dust, you put this around in front of your doorways. And if you have a house, you can put it around it. All right. It's very good for energy. Um, if you don't know anything about um, energy and how uh, the evil eye and all of that works, you need to really start learning all of these things. All right. This is the wall in the bath, and this is where people don't even think about doing, but this is working with your shadow side. You have to work with your shadow side. You must work with your shadow side in order to come over the other side, all right? The other side is where you need to be. The shadow work is what you need to work with, which is all the things that you, who you are and things that you don't like about yourself. Because who you are and things that you don't like about this, yourself is what you bring to yourself. And that is energy. They are the people that come to you. I mean, definitely the people that, that you would say that means the most to you. That would be um, what you give birth to, who you lay in the bed with. Also, everything you've been going through has come way before you. That means it comes from roots your family, your mother, your father, how they treated you, how they was treated, okay, how your mother was treated as a child, as a wife, as a whoever, okay, crystals and stones are play a major part in your body, all right, major, so definitely learn these things there, they will help you a lot, all right, what I'm known for is my Spiritual detox salt bath and my spiritual detox salt bath works wonders not only as for your spiritual um, Journey, but for your skin for your breathing for your lungs. 
All right, for all the pains that you got. Okay, the the um the what you call herbs and flowers in a bag is this place big things in your life. If you don't like taking salt baths, you can take herb baths. You can use this at least twice, right? Um, what I have on me are my evil eye bracelets. I have these online. <clears throat> and I never make the same one twice. They all made different, but I do. I made this one with the chakras and the evil eye, okay? And the rest are evil eye bracelets. I also got them on my ankle. I don't go nowhere without them. I don't care what I wear, what jewelry I wear, diamond studs, whatever. These never come off. And hopefully when I die, they'll take it with me. They burn me with it. All right. Pisces. Pisces, Pisces, Pisces. Yesterday I went to see, well, I didn't go, did plan, but I was going to the store with Lulu. And it just said, come see me. So it was my mom. So I went to see my mother and my sister and my father. But always, whenever I go to the cemetery, I always wind up there in front of my mom, my dad, and my sister, and everybody that's passed away. Because I always, I always pray for all. Everyone is there. For all the souls who don't even have no one there. And let me tell you something. I know that they pass, and I know they're in a better place, and all of this is there is skeletons, right, and ashes, um, but whenever I go there, I, I go straight to God. I, st I go straight to the universe and the clouds, it wasn't a cloud in sight. It was crystal clear. So it's saying that everything is so crystal clear to you, Pisces. Everything that, you know, I just ask God to please handle whatever needs to be handled and to take all the negative energy off of me, all right, and the people that bring it to me, I pray for everyone, all right, I don't have hate in my heart, I do separate myself from what I know that is not good for me, okay, and that doesn't mean that I don't love it, love them, it just means that I have to move on, that I have to, you know, do things in a different way that I can't stand where I've been standing all the time, hoping and praying that things will change when things don't change. All right. So let's get going. All right, Pisces. I just want to say that, um, I just want to say that, um, we all are in different stages in our life, and this may not hit you, but it, it may hit you, but and not in a way I'm saying. Maybe it's in a different way. Everybody's not in relationships. Everybody, um, some people don't work. You know, it, it may hit you in different ways. Some people work from home. Some people are stay-at-home mom. Some people don't work at all. Some people are retired. All right? But whatever way it works for you, use it. All right. Uh, I, I did a reading for myself and it was weird because I'm not seeing anyone. But in the reading, it was so much chaos. And come to find out, the chaos was at my job. Right? Because it damn sure couldn't have been here because it ain't with my dogs. Um, and also, uh, it was sad because I went to my niece's a wedding. And it was so much misunderstanding at their wedding, right? It really was, and I felt bad because of so much misunderstanding and how twists and turns can come and be. And one thing I want to say, Pisces, when someone dies in your family and you have never visited that person and they live and they live where you live at, right? And they die. And you don't go visit them at all. You don't even know the colors of their wall. Right? You can't hold a grudge with somebody that you don't visit 
and then somebody passes away and they expect you to be different. There ain't no difference. That's the thing. That when people pass away, the person that passed away is the person that really is forgotten. And the person that's alive is the person that grieves and always want this boo-hoo-boo who -boo -hoo playing a part of their life. And it's not like that. People are there for the respect, for the love of the person that passed away. They don't have to do anything after that. And that's the thing. I, 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 don't, I don't understand it. And I did not understand it. And, you know, it hurt me to the core. But what can I do? What can I do? I, you, can't, you can't sit there and try to figure people out. You know, you got to keep going and keep moving on. Right? And, and I felt bad because my brother's a Pisces like I am. His birthday is March of 19. Mine's is February of 19. My brother is loved, happy, and a beautiful person. And family, I'm going to say it again, family is not always blood. It's who you make it. So you can't get mad at people for who they make their family. And they, and they exclude their real family. Let just live your life. Live. Live. That's all you can do is live. Okay? Alright, so here we go. Jonah or Art Michael, and if that's what's going on around you, then that's what it is. And you can't get it. Just let that shit go. It don't matter. You don't don't feel bad. Don't get upset at people in your family. Because that's a going situation that never stops. Alright? <laughs> you live your life by how people think and what people say about you, you're going to go first. Alright? So here we go. Jonah or Art Michael, please tell... Hey! Cut it out! Hold on, please. What is it? Okay. Jonah or Art Michael, please tell me what this reading is going to be about. It says the lovers. Now, the lovers can be... Um, it got pictures reminiscing. Looking at pictures. Um... Going somewhere, doing something. All right. It got uh 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 angel wings on this on this person's tattoo. Gemini. Then it got um the sunflowers on the other person's hand. So if this could be somebody that you connected to that you got love for, right? It can also mean choosing. It can mean choosing from, from a family person, from a person that you intimate with, from your kids, from whatever. I don't know. But it's a lot of memories here that you share with a person. And I don't know who that person is, but it's a person there. This person may be from a different race, different nationality, and maybe it's a biracial couple. All right? Or maybe you're lighter, they're darker, or they're darker, you're lighter. I don't know. Maybe somebody got a tattoo, all right, of, of that person or something that means something with you and that person. The page of source and announcement, some type of news is coming to you, all right? Somebody is broadcasting something. Somebody wants to reach out to you. Somebody that, like I said, this dark person, this darker skinned person, you know, Want to talk to you. Want to broadcast something. Sending a message. And pages of source. That's what they are. Or this person can be talking a lot. Alright. Spreading the news. <laughs> all up in this. All, all up in the head. Talk, 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 talk. Maybe they work. And, and some type of um a promoter. Maybe they do music. Maybe they sing. Maybe they got a talking show. Maybe they got a podcast. Maybe they got a YouTube. Maybe they got an Instagram. Facebook. I don't know what they got, but somebody here is talking. They don't have to be they but it's some some type of message. <laughs> And I don't know about y'all, but my allergy, and I know it's not a cold, been messing with me for some days. But it's somebody here that is 
definitely talking. Okay? And, and, and it's very wavy. So, not only that, I feel like somebody is going through something. Maybe this person, you know, reminiscing about you, them. Maybe talking about the past. All right? It's a page. It's a messenger here. All right? Somebody's talking. Tell me more. And pages stay in their head. They always thinking. All right? The nine of wands. Somebody feels like um, maybe somebody got, um, you know, constantly working on a computer. They got um, something wrong with their hand. Or, you know, when you feel like uh, you get operated or something because you always on a computer. Maybe somebody wear a bracelet or something like that. But it do shows that someone stays in front of the computer. Somebody may work in front of a computer. Somebody may be putting information on computers. Somebody may constantly be on a computer. This is what they do. Somebody here is protecting themselves with the Seven of Swords. The Seven of Swords is that 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 person that um um you look at and you say, what the, you know what I mean? Like, what the hell? Like, you think it to yourself, what is it here? What is it? Right? The seven of swords is that, um, advancement, um, uh, a boundary, setting boundaries here. Right? It may be, um, somebody's like being an enemy to you, spreading rumors, talking shit. All right, this may be somebody younger, right? Broadcasting a lot of shit, just talk, 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 right? Gossiping, all right? Um, uh, you want to escape the surroundings that you um that you are in. You are fully capable. Of standing strong through the chaos that you are facing, right? Be aware of your um advantage. You have fully right to stand and to set boundaries. A small gateway is recommended. That means that whatever is going on with this chaos and this gossiping and all of this shit, you don't have to sit there and put up with the gossip. You, it's just trying to tell you, you can get the hell away from that shit. You can choose to ignore or you can choose to be a part of it. All right? So it's up to you to say, what is it? The queen of swords, honey, at the bottom, you ain't playing. You are not playing like you waiting for, yeah, you come on and bring that shit. Bring it on, honey, because I'm not looking for it. But I know one thing, I'm sitting here waiting because I got receipts on everything. If anything and everything, you come to me with the chaos, I got receipts. I'm coming with that shit. And that's how you feel like, don't bring nothing to me because I'm going to serve you. So don't come to me with the craziness and you won't get served. That's what you're saying because... It's something here that it's got to do with lovers. And this can be in more than one person. Gossiping. Decision making. All right. Uh, wanting to get to you with some news or spreading some rumors about you. Or starting chaos. You know. Um, but what it's saying is you got a gateway. You ain't got to be a part of that shit. You can, you can, you can choose to open up the door and leave, leave them sitting there talking to themselves. You don't have to sit there and put up with shit. Now, it says, the cards that I'm getting ready to pull out in the middle of this, it says, I don't care. So, I want to know what you don't care about. All right? What is it that my lovely Pisces don't care about this whole situation? What is it, spirits? What is it? Sorry, not sorry. Look at this shit. Sorry. They, they, okay, I'm sorry, but they really ain't sorry. Right? They sitting there like, yeah, they got thinking like, yeah, yeah, yeah. 
Let me say I'm sorry, but I ain't really sorry when it comes to the lovers. So it's something here that somebody's constantly, I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I'm making excuses because it's a choice here that needs to be made. And yeah, they are sorry. You sorry, you sorry for what? Sorry for the things you get away with because it ain't sorry for the things you do because you constantly do it. It's like somebody constantly do this to you. Tell me about this page of swords. You can't do it. You can't do it. You can't outdo me. Like Pisces, they, this person can spread rumors about you, gossip about you. But look at you. Like what? Like you can't do me. You can't do me. You want to do me. You want to be me. But you can't do me. Like you want to spread rumors about me. What? Like you got it. What? Like what? You want to flex? You don't want to flex. I know you don't want to flex. Tell me more about this nine of wands. Tell me about this nine of wands. You got, you got a lot of swords here. You got somebody in the head. And you got, it's like somebody, is, it's, it's a group of people or it's three people or somebody got to make a decision. But they lying and they always sorry, but they really ain't sorry. Some people are sorry they get caught. Some people are sorry because you find out shit. But they spreading rumors. They talking out loud. They probably screaming and carrying on. When people scream and carry on and they don't want you to say nothing in the middle of shit, it's because they got so much to hide and they want to, you know, cover shit up. But they on the mic, it's like they rapping. They talking shit. It's like they loud. Right? This person can like to be listening to loud music. You know what I mean? Loud shit. All right, they love that noise. They noisy. But you saying, uh-uh, you can't do what? You can't do me. You can't outdo me. You you want to act crazy with me? No, you cannot. The nine of ones, what is this nine of ones saying? It's like, what Pisces? Like, you're not playing. I'm not always an angel. Look at this shit here. It says, run from the chaos. You got to open in the lead of chaos alone. This person got too many personalities. All right, you don't know who this person is from one day to the next, the devil. Look at this, Pisces. Game over. The game is over. You play too many games, like you're trying to fight who? You're trying to come at me in a what kind of way? And it, and it definitely says, I don't care. All right, so which way you want to take me, the dark or the light? How, how you want me to come at you, in the dark and the light? Because I can come that way because when I come in the dark, you get game over. If you want to get the light on me, you need to calm down, all right, and stop screaming and carrying on, right? We get nowhere when you act like that, right? So that's what you're telling somebody because somebody here is, is just on and on and on and on. Like they don't let shit rest, right? They don't know how to let things go. Things linger and linger and linger and linger, Right? Um, I, I'm, I'm going to get this off my chest. I'm going to say what I got to say. Whatever it is. It's like, what? You, like you, you, you just sound crazy right about now. Because Pisces, we going to sit there and now look at this. The devil at the bottom again. What the fuck? You got the devil here. What the hell? Don't play with me. Don't test me. Pisces, it's like somebody here. It's like somebody here lives a lie. Want you to believe they lies, right? But want you to sit there and, and put up with that shit. It, it's not it's not a battle. It's like they don't understand that they're not a battle to you. That all the stuff that come with the screaming and the chaos, it doesn't even bother you because it really don't. It doesn't bother you. You're not it's like I'm not addicted to any one of y'all. Or or I'm not addicted to anything that you come with. And maybe at one time you you they were you were addicted to this person. This person really had you where they want you, but they don't anymore. Tell me more about this lovers. And I, sorry, sorry, I'm not sorry. I'm sorry, I'm not sorry. Like this person, what? Do you understand? They telling you they sorry, but behind your back, they not sorry. Damn. Tell me more. It's like this person is something else. Tell me more. Tell me more. The Ace of Cups, honey. 
This could have been a marriage. This could have been some type of commitment. This probably had a lot of love to it. You got the lovers. Somebody had, you know, you had a lot of love for somebody, but somebody here had to choose. Right? Or maybe that's you that got to choose. But you got a lot of love here, but somebody here got, it's like they play too many games. Um, How much sorry can they be? How many times are they going to say sorry and do the same shit? Like, how many times? How many times can we say goodbye? Yeah, damn it. And how many times do we play these games? You know what I mean? Like, where you at, Pisces, in your life? Where are you? Like, the universe is saying, I got love for you. And maybe the universe got love for all of this. But this love doesn't last forever. You got to catch it when you can. Like, somebody, it's like you are a cup to somebody. But if they don't handle you the way they're supposed to handle you, it's going to disappear. All right? It's going to disappear. Tell me more about this page of, of, of swords. And this page of swords, always thinking. And you got a lot of swords here, devil, energy, somebody can be something else. Um, addicted to games. Look, addicted to games. Addicted to games, baby. This person played too many games. Who is this person that you have known? Who is it? They want to come back. They're younger. They're probably younger. They want something new. They want to. But it's like, Pisces says, you can do it, Pisces. You can do it. What is this saying? Somebody's like spreading rooms, talking loud, thinking about you on the mic. What the fuck? Listening to music that reminds you of them. You and them. Reminiscing about the past. Probably watching your podcast, your YouTube, your Facebook, stalkers. Damn it, that's what I call these motherfucking stalkers, right? But, right, you, you, can, you can do this. What can you do, Pisces? What can you do? Right? You strong enough that you can do this, right? You got the power to overcome anything. And it's saying that it's coming to you. But the page of source is somebody like the gossip. Somebody that's all in the head. Somebody that, it, it's not a good thing. They come in fast. They blah, 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 blah all that shit. You, you got a lot to have a lot of patience to deal with people like that. And this could be, it could be anybody. It could be a family member. It could be a child. It could be somebody you've been with. But the crazy part is, is somebody in the background watching. Watching. Right? I don't know who that is, but they got swords. So they're probably watching. Maybe somebody think you back in the past with somebody that, they, that you once was with. I don't know. Shit. But they want to come and bring flowers. But at least you know that in these in these cups, there is flowers because you see it. All right? Does somebody want to come to you? But are you strong enough to say no? Or would you take this person back? Does this person got that power over you? Right? Because I know that you had a lot of love for this person. And I know that for sure because you got the ace of cup. That's a marriage. That's a union. That's somebody that you loved. That's somebody that you was in love with. Does this person have kids? Right? Do you know this person? Do you know their kids? Do you have history? History with family and all of that. Tell me more. Tell me more about this self nine of wands, this protecting yourself and saying, I'm getting away from all of this. That's right. The four of swords, somebody's praying, somebody's saying, I'm taking a break. 
Jim Lally real quick. It could be like, I'm taking a break from this. I, I'm just going to sit back. I'm not going to argue. I'm going to deal with this in a different way. I don't want to react on this, right? Because if I react on it fast, it can be problems. So I'm just going to leave the chaos, move away from the chaos, because I know that this comes with some fucked up ass energy. And I know that they know the game is over because I'm not fighting with nobody. Because I learned to sit back and observe people. Right? And observe how they thinking and what they coming with before I make a move. Right? I'm not going to argue with you. I'm going to see how you coming to me. So when you come to me, I know what to say to you. I'm not going to jump and see you and start going on and on. No. I'm going to sit back because I had a lot of time to think about this. And while I'm thinking, I'm pampering myself. I'm getting my beauty rest. I'm nurturing myself. I'm taking care of myself. I'm loving myself. I'm getting my, myself ready for when you come. Right? Because I left the shit alone. Right? Because I know it comes toxic. And when it comes like that, Pisces, it can make you go in the dark side. Right? So rather than, the game is over. The game that they came with is over. They can't even get to you the way they used to. Because now you know how to deal with it. You really into your spirituality. You really thinking and you're not moving fast. It's like somebody here wants to come with the ace of cup. And it's somebody you know, you've been with. But you got to get rest to deal with people like this. You can't jump into a relationship with people like this. Because these people come with a lot of shit. And if you don't move accordingly, you're going to get into some shit. Because you got to remember, people like this change for one day and then back to their normal self. Because if you think about it, why you're not with them? You, if you was, if it was so good, you would have stayed. They would have been with you. It won't be no breakup or leaving or arguing. And, you know, people just, yeah, people be right when they right, they right. But when they not, they not. So if somebody here that you got history with, that you truly, really, truly love, but it's like I can't deal no more with the bullshit. Okay. Pisces, you're everything to this person. It's like they sit you on top of everybody. Right? Everybody. Like, you the one. You wearing a crown. Out of everybody this person sees or be with, you the one. And whether they don't want them, whether you with them or you not, you the damn one. You the one that they want. And you the one that they always think about. I don't give a damn who they with, who they live with, who they fuck with. Can't nobody do them like you. Nobody. And that's in every level. All right? Every level. They can't compare you to nobody. There ain't no comparisons. Right? The four of wands. It's like this person really wants to get back with you. They want to celebrate something with you. They want to be a part of you. They want to, whatever it is, they want something with you. Right? This is back being into a union. Like, you can't help who you love. Right? Even though you've been through a lot with a person, there's some type of chemistry here. And But you have history. You know this person. You know this person. This, I don't know if this person got kids. I don't know if they got one child, whatever it is. But you have known this person or you got this chemistry that you want a family with this person. I don't know. All right. But this person wants everything with you. Tell me more about this form of swords. And this is the only card that fell today. Okay. Like this person may be feeling like. Or you may be feeling like they're trying to get away with something. They're trying to be sneaky. Right? Or they trying to leave something to come back. Or they come around and they leave. They tell you, they, they just lie. Right? They could be laying down thinking that you being sneaky, 
that you're trying to do shit behind their back or you or they thinking about what you doing, how you moving, all right? This person got a lot of ways about them. They got good and bad, like you don't know. You can be very attracted to them. You can be addicted to this person, whether it's sexually, whether it's money, whatever it is, right? But game is over. It's like whatever argument or whatever disagreement, whatever did you let this person, this person can't stop thinking. They thinking you seeing other people. They they just lay there and reminisce about you. This person's all up in their head because you, you have a lot of swords here. They see you like you are the one. Like they don't really want to be with nobody but you. Right? But Pisces, if you want a reading, you can get it from me or someone else. I don't hate on nobody. The universe always takes care of me. All right? I'll talk to you later. Namaste. Go in peace. Bye-bye.